In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a QR code for a Google Drive folder. So here I'm inside of my Google Drive and we're gonna use this photos folder as an example. So if you go ahead and double click on the folder, you can then obviously preview inside it. In this folder, there are just images that I used for a random tutorial video. So we're gonna create a QR code for this folder. This also works for any individual file. Now to create a QR code for the folder, you wanna right click on the folder name. So mine is called photos, then go to share and then click on share. Now, if you're creating a QR code, you need to make sure that everyone that scans it will be able to access it. So change general access from restricted to anyone with the link. Then go ahead and copy the link and that will copy it to your clipboard. Now go to Google and type in QR code generator. And there are a couple of ones that you can use. I use this one here, qr-code-generator.com. So we're gonna use that for the video. Now, once you go ahead and click on that, you need to paste in this link that we've copied from Google Drive here. Once we've done that, if we scroll down, we can change the frame so we can have any of these different QR codes. Some of these are gonna require you to sign up, but for the video, we'll just use the standard scan me frame. You can then go to shape and color. And if you wanna customize the shape of your QR code, you can do that here. And then you can also add a logo if you wanted to. You might have to sign up for an account, but those are the basics. But once you've got your QR code generated, click download JPEG, and then it's gonna generate your QR code. Now, don't exit out of this, don't refresh, just let it generate your code and then it should download it. So here you can see, here is the QR code. It's in the downloads folder, and we can go ahead and then use this QR code, put it on our designs, we can print it out, we can put it anywhere we want. So that's how you can create a QR code. This will then go to the Google Drive folder.